Welcome King Lizard on Xbox One with Destiny PvP action. So today I'm at Firebase Delphi, this is a control match on Xbox 360. And this is a match I filmed during the week of the last Iron Banner. So I'm using Suros Regime. And I've also got the Dead Orbit Hide and Seek Shotgun. Enemy captured zone A. You're in the lead. So this straight into B after capturing the first point. B is where things get and stay heavy. This is quite a nasty area to stay alive. So I managed to get an assist. Oh I got grenade killed. Uh, let's start back here. Special ammo is not there yet, so I can't grab any of that. Back into the lines, den. Zone A neutralized. Yeah, I pulled away. Saw Zone something A out there. Excellent. Secure. That's one kill. Two kills. Get a quick reload going. Someone else down. Oh, he got away. Oh, I've got an assist. Excellent. Oh, I'm going to come off work. Yeah, I thought I was going down there. His shield was barely moving. The only problem with that hide and seek hasn't got much in the way of range. It's not great damage unless you're on top of the enemy, and even then you normally need a couple of shots. You may ask why I'm using it. I'm still trying to get a bounty. I've been trying to get forever in a day. Wow, this is a real hive of activity in here. Four kills in a row. Like it. I like half out of it. Oh, don't get that very often. You neutralize zone B. So set off my blade dancer here to guard this area while we're capturing. I'm gonna run out any second. There is someone coming down here. Oh, he's gonna be sniping. Yeah, that did me some damage. Back off just in case a grenade's coming through there. Whoa, getting it from behind. It's all happening here. Mark has been up everywhere. I think he's under us, is he? Zone A lost. Zone C secure. Enemy captured. Apparently he's right on top of me. Oh. I didn't get that. How could he? Oh well, never mind. So back into the fray. He's getting captured here. I think these guys are. Doing pretty well here. We're not doing so well on the blue team. Oh, got a kill there at least. Trying to max out my. Obviously, my iron banner at this point. To try and get some etheric light to upgrade my guardians. Oh, Titan smashed. Not good. So back at sea, which is still ours. Straight back to B. Oh shit! I walked straight into that one. Wait around for some secondary ammo. Zone a you rat! Jumped down on us and shotgunned us to the kit. Oh dear. Didn't even see him pop up on the radar. Zone Come on, a I gotta get my sure. finger out my butt here and do some proper work. I'm not doing so well at the moment. Oh, I don't feel like I'm doing very well at the moment anyway. Got myself another kill there. There's someone else here. And there. It's a real hive of activity. Someone's throwing grenades at me. I've got action all over here. Excellent. Mine. I think they got a taste of the golden gun. Excellent. No one down. Zone A lost. 
Let's see if we can get this bee back. This is where I get Titan jumped on or something. I hate those Titan moves. Let's see if I can get me some. Oh, you're not getting away that easy, buddy. Yeah, I told you. Come back. I've got plenty for you. Oh, so close. So there's a team we're quite way behind here on these points. Not through lack of trying on my part, I'm sure, or my teams. These guys kind of know this map a little bit better and using it a little bit better than us, I think. It seems to be that a lot of the time, whoever gets into B first generally wins the round. Because B is one of the, you know, it's kind of the tipping point for the uh, the win, really. Can't containing B. Because it's where the action generally is, it's still where most. Oh, you put me that way again. Rat bag. Heavy ammo on the way. That area is, you know, just the place to be. It's where all the killing can happen, so that's pretty much why everyone congregates there. Either way, we need to capture it, so we figure we'll go the hard way about it, I guess. Heavy I normally do change tactic and start going for A. I kind of feel obliged to get stuck in the action today. Grenade killed there. So. Now I was um, looking at the Appy game of the other day, and uh, there's some news on there about the uh, Taken King. Obviously, the new DLC or game or whatever you want to call it for Destiny, and. They kind of made an announcement at E3 Microsoft that it was going to be $39.99 for people that currently own all of the DLC and Destiny. Or anyone that already owns Destiny, basically. And I thought, well, that's pretty high for something that, you know, fan loyalty to pay for. Someone that's already been. You know, I mean, I've spent close to £90 on this game already in DLC in the game itself. And then they tell me I can buy what to me sounds like maybe just a slightly larger than normal DLC. I may be wrong. But given what they've presented thus far as DLC, I'm pretty certain I won't be too far from the mark. And so I thought, okay. $39.99, let's have a look, see what it's being listed at elsewhere. And I found two or three places where I can buy The Taken King, Destiny, The Dark Below DLC, and the most recent DLC, The House of Wolves, for £45. And to me, that is a major kick in the face for fans of this game, or people that have been quite loyal to this game. And as a result, I won't be picking up the Taken King immediately. I'll get it eventually, but I'm not going to pick it up from day one. I feel a bit cheated by these guys. So, um, or a bit disrespected more than anything else. I think we should get a much bigger discount. You know, given new newcomers to the series are going to walk straight in and buy everything we bought for £45. I think that's a bit of a kick in the teeth. It basically is giving the message that if you buy the game up front, all you do is get screwed. And I don't like being screwed, so I won't be buying the game up front. I'll wait until it falls in price. So that's you know, pretty much my take on Taken King anyway. I think you know we are basically you know getting laughed at really from Bungie. They don't respect us at all. And the fact we still don't have raids and we st uh, that are match made or Nightfall that are match made, I think is pretty pretty poor from Bungie's respect you know we want them as a community there are people obviously got lots of people they play with on this game but there are those of us that kind of you know mix and match between lots of other games so I think it's you know very poor decision for Bungie both on the software perspective and its cost and also for the failure to still include matchmaking for even the new Osiris and the new prisoner of elders as well 
Anyway, I'm going to jump off my soapbox. I hope you enjoyed the match there. Um, I did. Let's see what I got. How did I do? 17. 1.13 KD. That's bearable, I suppose. Not too bad a match. We didn't win, but never mind. It was good fun. So, thanks for watching. Please remember to rate and subscribe. If you can leave me any comments, that would be great. And I will be back with plenty of gaming action soon on King Liz's Game Lounge. Take care. Keep watching.